Okay, so I got a lot of stuff going on here. Let's get right to it. We're gonna make an electric heater. So the, the main ingredient here is this. This is called nichrome wire. Uh, you can find this if you take apart a hair dryer or an electric heater or a, um, the, even uh, electric toasters have these in there. It's this wire that looks like this. Now, it's special because it has a very high resistance. Just one meter of this stuff, can you see it? One meter of this has a resistance of about 25 ohms, which is pretty high. If you take a normal copper wire, uh, you won't even measure the resistance. Okay, so let's go ahead and make three versions of this. Number one, here I have three D-cell batteries, and I'm gonna run, um, I'm gonna run that current through this. There's a little short piece of Nikon wire right there, and I'm running it through this ammeter so we can see the current too. Okay, so let's just turn this on and see the current. Watch the current. So it's about three amps, and you can see it's smoking. Okay, let's just do something fun. Uh, let's melt this cup, because actually I have two things to melt. I have the wax, let's do that first. Cuts through it like butter, you see that? You can't see. Well, it does. It cuts through like butter. Okay, now I'm going to melt this cup. See, check that out. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Okay, but the really interesting part is that that gets super hot. This does not get super hot. So this is just a normal copper wire, um, and it has just as much current flowing through it as that does. But the Nichrome wire has such a high resistance that that's where all the the energy goes. That's where all the heat goes. That heats up, this doesn't. And that's what makes it really cool. Okay, let's build another device. Actually, I already built it. Move this out of the way. Here is an electric heater I made. Sort of like when the way MacGyver would do it. Okay, it has a heating element on the end. Uh, so this is, I have three batteries connected together and I'm just using this is actually a earphone wire this is this is the cable I cut this up it's not good for high current situations but that's okay because this isn't the stuff that's gonna get hot so we don't need that so I have the three batteries uh, I the rulers just holding it all together um, here is the heating element that's the piece of nichrome wire you can't see that and then here I have my switch, which I like to make. So you see here I have a paper clip and another one. And when I push this paper clip down, it touches and it turns on. So let's melt some stuff. Okay, there's my cup. There's my wax. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to melt the, the cup. Okay, melting that. I'm going to melt the wax. Let's hold that up a little closer. Just cut right through it. Cool, okay, very simple, very simple. One more example. Okay, check this out. Nichrome wire, right there. And I have two nails just holding it up, and this is so simple. I'm just gonna plug it into, this is an old uh, router power supply, which only goes up to, uh, this says 1200 milliamps or 1 1.2 amps, which is not very high, but 12 volts. Okay, so I took it apart. Awesome looking thing. This is a, just a switch. So I can turn it on and turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And so we're going to run 12 volts, one amp through this wire right here. And let's see what happens. I'm going to plug this in. It's over there. So don't go away. Plugging it in now. Now I'm going to throw the switch. You ready? Oh, there it goes. See, it's glowing. Isn't that cool? That's super hot. I like that. I mean, you wouldn't want to use that as a light, but it is indeed glowing. Look at that. Cool. Okay, so that's what, and that's what it looks like inside your heating element for a toaster oven or whatever. But those are nichrome wires, and that's how you make a heater.